Welcome back to Chins and Giggles, your favorite podcast. You guys, today's episode is super special because we have Brian in the we house. Have our first guest ever. Our first guest. Oh. But he's actually not in frame. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're listening in. He's actually behind the camera. Our couches are not big enough yet. <laughs> but we're excited to have it. They're so. actually full size couches, but we're just that big that we take up each one. Oh, that yeah. we need a couch for each person. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> they're the full ones. Like yeah. why? Um, do you want to introduce yourself, babe? Like what I say? No? <laughs> Hi, yourself. my name is Brian. Imagine. Well, for those of you that know don't know me, my name is Brian Renteria. I am married to Myra and pretty much Cunada Karina. Hey. <laughs> So today we have some really fun, exciting talk- 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 topics to talk <laughs> mm-hmm. about. We really want to touch base on just like weird shit that we see on TikTok and like conspiracy theories, like weird stuff like that. Yeah. Like different ones. And Brian's actually a really good host for this. Brian is like a he- conspiracy theorist. He, I feel like Brian knows more about, well, Brian and Raul, they, I feel like they both know about conspiracy theories. I I mean, I think they're iconic, and I'm pretty hooked on a few myself. But I just feel like I don't know the details like that. Uh huh. We were like, we need to call them in here. But Raul is taking care of Mia, so we got Brian here to. He's actually gonna be like bringing up like the the top theories and stuff, and we want his input in it too. Yeah. But let us know if you guys want Raul and Brian in one of, one of these podcasts where they take over. I think that would be so. Oh my funny. god, they should take over an episode. Yeah. Are you nervous for no. today? Mm-hmm. He's like, would you be nervous to be like on the podcast? No, Just you and Raul? A little a little baby daddy stick Honestly, over. The way I see, I feel <laughs> like even like say when you guys are chilling. Like, me and Raul chill, and we just talk and whatever, you know? Yeah, so it'll just be kind of like that. Just period. Film. Per. Okay, so let's jump in these conspiracies, girl. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. So um, there's been, I mean, there's stuff all over TikTok. I feel like conspiracies right now that are, like, in. I hear them on TikTok. I've seen, like, new, like, uh, documentaries on them. Like, there's all kinds of crazy shit out there. Even on TikTok, like, there's that weird side of TikTok where it's, like, not necessarily conspiracy theories, but, like, shit that's going on that's, like, pretty creepy. Mm-hmm. Like, lately, I've been seeing a lot of um, the baby cameras, like, the monitors, like, getting hacked. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Like, it'll literally be, like, people talking to the baby. And when I first saw the first TikTok, I thought I thought it was, like, um, something scary that the baby was saying, like, the camera's talking to me. She, he was telling his dad, and he's like, what do you mean, you know? And then he said that it started telling him, like, something about, like, I don't know, being a friend or whatever. But you have a camera, too, no? I have a monitor, but I don't have, like, a 24-7 one. And you would hear something because you guys um, sleep with her in the we're same able, room. That's the thing. We, we, we're able to talk to her through the monitor so that she can hear it through the camera. Mm-hmm. So if she's crying, I'll usually be like, Mia, you're fine, you know, and then I'll go upstairs. But hers is not the kind that's on 24-7 like that. Hers How do you is, know that even, like, those times that she is sleeping? I'm watching her. So the only times I'm using that monitor I turn it on when I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to go downstairs and get work done. And she's up here. She's sleeping. I turn the monitor on, like the camera, and then I take the monitor with me, and I'm like watching her. You actually gave us that one, huh? We use it every day. Mm-hmm. Thanks, y'all. You guys, <laughs> oh, my God, Ryan yeah. and Mara gave us that. We use Why it every day. Why did I just like realize that's the yeah, one we use that we gave day. you? But, um, for a baby shower. Yeah, and that's the only time we use it. Like, But we have our eye on her. Mm-hmm. And she usually reacts to our voices, so I feel like I would see her like reacting to someone's voice. So I think it's not those cameras. It's like a specific brand. But like there's literally people that are hacking into these cameras and talking to the kids and scaring them and like trolling them. I think a lot of them are like just trying to like be trolls and like hackers, you know. But they'll be like scaring the crap out of these kids. I'm like, yo, that's all bad. But horrible. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Mm -hmm. But like conspiracy, (laughs) conspiracy theories. I want to go into conspiracy theories. Take it away, honey. All right. So pretty much the first conspiracy theory we're going to talk about is the mandela effect oh my you guys god know kind of about that? yeah yeah not, that's my favorite one okay well just to let you know or anybody hearing as well a situation within a large group of number of people that a specific like event that they think that happened that which it didn't yeah so it's like an overwhelming amount of people that also yeah. think it happened mm-hmm. um so one of the yeah. first ones it's going to be with Snow White. You guys remember the Snow White? There's a conspiracy. There's a, there's a Mandela effect with Snow White? Yeah. Snow White, the movie. 
Aww. Do you guys remember what she says to the mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the palest of them all? <laughs> I mean, Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Snow White. <laughs> okay, I'm going to actually be myself. I don't know why. Oh, fair and pale. <laughs> and it's not fair as in fair. It's Ferris like Ferris. Like oh, that. shit. It was a like, let's get down. Wait, she, I was, and I, I always thought, I was Man. like, why does it matter if she's like pale or not? I mean, I know she's Snow White, girl, but. <laughs> Wait, David Ferris, like, as in what? I think Ferris is like also like, who's the fairest? I feel like it has to do with some magical shit. Do you think it had to do with her skin tone? I'm, I'm going to assume that it has to do with like, in a, in a fairy tale, I'm assuming it means like, who's the fairest? Who's the kindest? Who's the, who's this? Who's, who's the, the most? I feel like that's how I would see it. And no wonder honest, I always that's, that's was one that's not even mean? the. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of weird. I'm like, does she really care how pale she is? <laughs> is it really that? Can we Google it? Because what if it? She does mean that. Does Ferris mean? It's not gonna be that. I I promise you. It, I would feel more like Ferris of them. In like, accordance with the rules or standards, legitimate. Who's the realest bitch of them all? Is oh, that what she was saying? Shit. Okay. Is that what she was saying? I'm confused. I guess so. Whoa. What does it mean to be the fairest? The word? Oh, yeah. This makes more sense. Meaning beautiful, pretty, or peaceful. Like, who is the... Mm. I actually think she's saying, like, who's the most beautiful? Yeah. Mirror, the mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the palest of them all? Like, who? Uh, but like I said, that I has nothing that to shit. do with the Medina effect. It was giving... Pretty much, you know, you know how you guys white. said it says mirror, mirror on the wall? Mm-hmm. Who's the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror it, on the it wall. It doesn't say that. It 100% says that. It says magic mirror on the wall. Huh? Oh. It never said mirror, mirror on the wall. And you know what's funny? I, I definitely thought it said mirror, mirror on the mirror, wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. She said and that. And that's like, we're all equally stupid and just thought it was mirror, mirror on the wall? She uh, says what? Magic mirror on the wall. We got to play this shit, girl. Hold on. I don't believe it. Nope. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm assuming it's... This is one of those things that I think we could all equally say that we probably just messed up together, right? Because like mirror, mirror, magic mirror. As a kid, I would you, just... You two well, put you it as mirror, mirror on the wall. A, li- a little quote like this, I feel... Watch the movie. Watch the movie. You hear it? Okay, girl. When is it Scared, coming up? We don't want to get copyrighted. Girl, just say it already. <laughs> now you're playing the whole movie, bitch. I know. I was like, just play the clip. Girl, come on now. <laughs> Do they not fucking say it? Okay, can we just trust that okay. it's in a Mandela effect? Okay, she did say something in the magic mirror, so I'm gonna believe that. I'm fucking shook. No, but I feel like I'm something pissed. like this. It was more of just people confusing what they said because there's also something like this magic about mirror. Star Wars, wow. where the Luke. Have you ever? You, you guys have. Not Luke, I, I am your remember that one. Luke, I am your father. Yeah, because he tells like, did you, did Obi ever tell you what happened to your father? And then he supposedly says like, "Luke, I am your father," but it's actually like, "No, I am your father." You guys never heard that. He never says Luke. No. Nah, I I'm, I gotta go. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. What so, about the life is like a box of chocolates, girl? <laughs> we're getting there. I'm just that, one, that one's crazy. That too. one too, though. No, this is another yeah. one. Wait, that one. What's that one? I, I don't know. With Forrest Gump. There's one in the a Mandela effect on the Forrest Gump. There's right? one yeah. too. You know when he's sitting down on the on the bus little bench, yeah, and the little lady pulls up and he starts talking about the whole life is like box chocolate. Don't tell me that's not real because there's everything. It has to be real. Well, do you what do you remember what it says um, or what he says? I haven't even watched the movie. Life is like a box. But of life chocolates. is like a box of chocolates, right? No, he says. Mama always said life was like a box of chocolate or something like that. Life was like a, and people are like he said is. Life is like a box. Yeah, of something like that. Because I, I, I always get confused about them. I feel I, like I we should. Um, we should tell like the viewers or the listeners that you know how you said like, and a Mandela effect is basically oh, everybody. Yeah. Did we explain the Mandela we effect? Mm-hmm. But I kind of wanted to add to it a little bit. Like, so the Mandela effect, you guys, it's like 
how you said a lot of people have the same they remember the same event but somehow like it's not the way we all remember it so for example like snow white you know like mirror mirror on the wall everybody remembers that as that but say they say that it's it's always been magic mirror etc the point is um apparently you know like we all remember something but like something changed it's like the butterfly effect how do you explain that like how does that how is that even said like to someone who doesn't know what the mandela effect is <laughs> like we all remember it like, but somehow much, it didn't happen it's, it's pretty much divided between two groups of people that have a strong opinion of what what was something was said or but like but that. it's like like two different dimensions like, they say it's kind of it kind of goes into like the whole parallel universe shit yeah. right mm-hmm. which is a whole other thing but and you've shifted parallel universes because you, you remember something yeah, different or or where something in another parallel universe like somebody fucked something up or like did did a little mistake and now it changed everything in this universe it's a crazy conspiracy theory, but isn't what, like Fruit Loops like spelled differently than what we thought? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's not like the two O's, huh? No, I think that's on the loops, but I don't fucking know. What's the next one? What? Well, what's the 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 other okay. Mandela one? So there's a specific peanut butter company that starts with a J. You guys know which one I'm talking about? No? Starts. It's either Jif or Jiffy. 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 Jiffy for sure. Jiffy? Which one? Jiffy. Jiffy. It's Jiff, or how do you how do you pronounce it? Jiff. Jiff. But it's not with the Y. I thought it was Jiffy. Okay. Jiff. I mean, I let that one slide. I guess I don't really I mean, eat peanut butter like that. I feel like if I was a peanut butter <laughs> CEO, I would think that Jiffy sounds. Well, more if you were a CEO, Jiffy. you would know what you named it. I know, but I'm saying. Oh, like, like how you would? I think choose. Jiffy is more appealing to consumers yeah. i don't know what does the ceo have to say about this did he name it the I'll opposite of what it's called imagine like why <laughs> no, i don't get it this last one i feel you guys won't even know it because it's There's from a bears. movie oh. i don't think you guys would watch Probably not. have you guys ever seen the movie silence of the lambs Mm-mm. yeah see is it but it sounds there, like a terror movie horror movie yeah it's an old school like horror sounds movie. sounds like one of those movies like scary shit yeah Okay. but um in that movie the guy he talks to this like therapist that always comes to visit him check on him kind of thing while he's in jail for like the things he's done but a lot of people think when she shows up he goes like hello Clarice." but in reality he never said that uh-huh. and i remember watching that movie with my dad my brother and we would always be like us just like chilling around the house it never happened. like i'll be coming around the little corner like hello clary like and just what does he say around. But Mm-mm. I don't even remember. He's not but in I the movie. I was getting like, imagine. <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Like, there's some Myra. I feel like we the, the, the Bears and Bears one's Bears crazy. and Bears, bitch. That one. The mm-hmm. Bears and Bears. It's spelled like different. So it's actually the Bears and Pandas. I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine me? I was like, wait a damn fucking minute, Pandas. Like that one is actually crazy. What the Pandas? <laughs> that one that was crazy because I was a huge Bears to Bears fanatic. Mm-hmm. Yes. How dare them? Imagine yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. It's so crazy. Like it's the whole like A and the I in there, right? Well the the whole Mandela effect, it started because the guy Mandela, people thought he was dead. I thought he was like when Can he passed imagine? away, he's still alive or did he pass? I think he had passed and they were like, I thought he was dead already. And right? people thought like he was dead I years ago. I don't know. Let me find out he's still alive. And we yeah, think. I think when he passed, that's when the people were like, wait, I thought he already passed. Yeah. And they were like. And then that's when started a lot of more things started popping up. But like, hold up, let's check our history. And we were wrong about a lot of things. Can you imagine being dead to the whole world and you're not like can, I would. Can you imagine how irrelevant you feel? No, think about like this. Have you guys heard of also other celebrities that supposedly they fake their death just to like live in a paradise little island or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like Tupac, I suppose he supposedly. You think Tupac's died. alive? Because I, I know you. Would I probably... think he's dead. There's I a few people. So. There's a few that the, I believe especially because they're alive. A lot of like gangster rap back in the. What like, do you think, Michael Jackson? There. He was like in all this debt, right? Something like he that. Was yeah. And um, he did, wasn't he like in danger if he didn't like pay these stuff or something? Well. From what they said, especially a lot of towards the end of his death, he was doing a lot of court stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just know that I know I, I just have heard that he owed a lot of money 
Mm-hmm. And like faking his death was just like escaping it. Like he was like know. in a lot like crazy ass debt or something. I feel like I'd never have thought like he was alive. I've well, heard, I never what? thought so either. Oh no, I mean like after he passed, like I never had yeah, a conspiracy he's not real theory to me. about him. <laughs> he's a fairy tale, like why? I mean, it's hard to not, see because like also not. like you know if he is dead, it's like I'm sure the family must think like should I fucking wish he wasn't you know. True. So it's kind of hard. Like it could be like insulting to the family. Like, That's if what I was is. gonna say. I feel like there's so many conspiracy theories on people being alive. Sometimes you have to consider that that could really be offensive to the families that are grieving. But I mean, there is some shit out there that you're like, whoa. Like. I mean, there's people that fake their death. That's not a, a, without a doubt. I mean, mm-hmm. like, that's crazy. There's people that fake them, yeah. You know, but I don't know. It's just hard because I've seen like, like pictures that have come up of like Michael Jackson supposedly with like, even back then when he was like alive, he used to disguise himself like in, with different like noses and like face features like he would put like actual like masks and he looked like a whole different person so i think that's why people think that it was easy for him to like whoa yeah you guys haven't seen that no you were saying <laughs> another guy from the beatles huh that they say that he's not dead oh, paul mccartney yeah supposedly he passed and they have even like recorded footage of like one of the person that was working with the beatles that he uh like that's said it? like oh no it was true kind of stuff and what? even I it guess was true that he died or it was true Beatles? that he's faking it no no that pretty much the theory is that uh, paul mccartney he got into an accident i think it was a car crash and supposedly he passed away but during the time of him being an accident to like heal whatever they found someone that looks like him and all that and pretty much replaced, replaced him. him and then just car- started calling him paul but and, like, they were even saying name. that the band members would call him fall for fake Paul McCartney. They wouldn't call him Paul. They would call him Fall. So I, I don't know. Oh, what so he didn't fake his death. Paul? He faked being alive. Well. I'm so fucking confused right now. Wait, wait, <laughs> yeah, wait. like the real one actually died and he got a replacement. No, no, no. So the right. conspiracy theory is that. Like it's like me and you. And someone starts a conspiracy theory like Myra died three years ago. That Myra right now is a mm-hmm. whole different person taking over Myra. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's the same thing with Avril. And you're, Avril you're just Lady. taking over that person's life kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, I, that's I, a conspiracy theory. He's not dead, but people are saying he is. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that someone took over him. Maybe he just like, I don't know. Maybe he just well, had a glow for, up. For them, <laughs> it was like, oh, the Beatles is blowing up. Like, we can't lose a member right now. Kind oh, of thing. shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's crazy, girl. Do they have before and after? Like, like Karina Garcia, you're you're already known. So like, boom, it's something Louise. happens to you, and you're like we got to get someone. Louise takes over. <laughs> Louise, grab a wig. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> gotta get the shit rolling. Can't <laughs> stop. Put the fucking wig on. Do they have before and afters of that? <laughs> to like show like the before and after, like how identical can you look unless you're like I don't know. Ooh. I don't know about these these like death things with their with theories. Celebrities. Because there are theories, like, girl. We're going a little deep. Yeah. I know, I know. Like, no, but there's I people that are now. like diehard. People really diehard believe this shit. They'll mm. believe that Avril Lavigne really fucking died and like someone took over her and stuff too. Like it's the same thing with him, you know? Yeah. Like, no, well, even it. it's, it's funny because we're talking about this, but even when like you guys started off the whole YouTube thing, people were thinking like, that you, you were guys dead. were one person. The theory was that oh, it was one yeah. person yeah. with because two I remember, channels. I even Who got the fucking time, girl? So you're dating one person like and they split and i was like what i was like why am i getting messages like this i'm done we split at conception y'all how many times do we have to say i was good (laughs) oh but talking about splits what about split uh parallel universes kind of thing like that parallel universe conspiracies are my favorite ever it's crazy. I feel like it all kind of goes. There's people to on TikTok that I find it. I'm like, I don't know why you're lying. Are you just doing this for views, or is it real? Where they like wake up and they're like, like I'm not like in the same. Like this is not my life. This is not what. Well, there's people that that happens to them. Um, like like girl, when they get like in a car crash, and then all of a sudden <laughs> they feel disconnected from their family, and they don't feel like fully connected to themselves or like the world they're in currently. Mm-hmm. So then they start thinking like that they you know people say that they're in a different parallel universe or what you have some brian has some examples what are they girl yeah what are the examples um, well it, just to kind of break it down it says <laughs> some people wake up with no connection to their present life and believe that, that they jumped from another dimension oh. they remember living an entire life with like family and kids friends everything and wake up 10 20 years later 
in the past. That's in the past. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's this one. Do you I want ever? Kid. Like it pretty much like say right now you're, you're do, all this chins and giggles, Karina Garcia, Meyer touch of glam, and then boom, like wait, like that oh, when happened. you wake up and you're what five, would you do? I'm, I'm what would you if you guys can go back in time? Where would you wake up? Like when we where would you choose to wake up? Um, like it, within our life or any year? In our life in general. Where would I wake up? I don't I know if I want to wake up. In the I've actually hella like had these thoughts, like like obviously like with like everything that happened to us, like I literally will be like, if parallel universes exist, please wake up, please wake up, but like and like go back to like before and change it. things. Or like where you're like mm-hmm. or like we talk about like if parallel universes exist. We're like, oh my god, but I see those like living in the other one. I'm like, oh my god, mm. wake up in that reality, like wake up in that reality. Wake if it were a thing, uh-huh. so I've thought about that. That's like if you want to change certain things, obviously, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't know, like that. I've literally that been be like, good, oh um, my god, like if like we're we're gonna wake up on the on the real parallel. Like, I, if, if we're gonna talk about parallel that's universes, a good concept for like a movie. I feel like I was I definitely shifted parallel universes, bitch. My whole life did. That should life be, shifted. That should be a movie. There probably you is know what one. I mean, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would 100% want to be like, I get that. Spot me. For sure. But then again, like, it's like the Mandela effect. Once you switch one thing, like, it switches everything. And butterfly it's like, effect. The butterfly effect. You might be switching up other things that you don't want to change. That should really be a movie. I'm sure there's a movie, huh? The movie Butterfly Effect. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, is that a movie? See, yes. this is why Brian this is why we is need the podcast somebody right with now. a brain here. Because me and Myra would have been rolling with a shit like, we need to pitch this to somebody. Uh. <laughs> you, you guys know Ashton Kutcher? We're coming out with our own butterfly yeah. movie. Ashton Kutcher, he's, he plays the oh main God, role. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah. But, so throw but his, another... in the movie, him, he actually like, he could kind of control it. by Because at, in the beginning, like when he was a kid, he would write down events throughout the day. So at him in, when being older... If he starts reading that off, he like throws himself back into that time and he could change oh, it. But oh, that's why they it. say, you know, don't change the past because it's a butterfly to your future. So then within whatever he changed when he was a kid, he comes back into the life that he had and like, boom, everything's Isn't different. Isn't it weird that every choice you make like today friends. affects your tomorrow? I know. That yeah. shit gives me anxiety. Like, shit, I already overthink everything. That's not fucking good. Like, have I fucked up my whole life and not realized it? <laughs> I you mean, know what I you mean? definitely didn't fuck up your life. You're going no, no, no. the amazing You know what I mean? Like you think about like what have I fucked up today that's gonna affect me tomorrow? Like what did I fuck up last week? That's I mean, me, me fucking now up that I don't those corn dogs and the fucking tacos and tell you is gonna make me a pound bigger tomorrow. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> go on to the first thing? He's learning, guys. I'm just I'm done, go man. on to the next. It one. was like two no, seconds because of silence. You guys kind of covered this already, but. Going back to like the celebrities you're talking about, Michael Jackson and all that. There's Disney Frozen. If you try to just Google that right now, okay, that you guys that are talking one? about. What, Go off. what is about that one? Well, pretty much Disney. While well, the theory is that he froze himself, like kind of chronic. Wow. <laughs> yeah, fine. No, I can't even say it. But he pretty. Let's just say he froze his body. Just for like to have it in the future. It's like a specific him. time of Frozen, right? Where they preserve them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a thing, right? Where you preserve your own body. Is that real? When I yeah, thought huh. it was. I think you could do it. I don't think it's like so it when like yet, when but. they actually like you know find a. Okay, so yeah, so people are. Uh, there's a word for it <laughs> where they preserve you and they freeze you in a special way where it's like that with that. So when they finally stuff, right? like discover how to bring back a a body, yes, that way they could um whenever that is even if it's a thousand years down the road i mean you paid your spot to be frozen girl so and even if it's a thousand years from today you're gonna revive me whoa that's crazy so i mean that is kind of crazy would you do that hell no i wouldn't like i'm trying to live when my family's around i'm gonna be waking up to strangers thousands of years later that's gonna freak me the fuck out i kind of already died let her go like what's the point of coming back and dying again like i'm sorry that shit gives me anxiety like i already so you're telling me i passed away already and I already got over that phase, and now I gotta experience it again, bitch. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like, no, but yeah, might be the worst. You gonna go through it twice? Uh-uh. Like, I, I feel some people do this because sickness and health kind of situations. Like, think of it if you just found out right now you're 28, and you're like, okay, like, I just got news. I got cancer. Let me freeze myself. In the future, there has to be a cure for cancer. So I'll just tell them, wake me up when. You can find the but cure. then you're voluntarily <laughs> saying like take me now 
He didn't oh. voluntarily take his. I think he did, right? I, I don't know. Because if you were to do that, it's like telling your family, like, I'm going to die now. I'll what? be back in a thousand years old, but you're, you guys are you guys are done with me. I'm dead. But I'll be back in a thousand. Like, what? Why would he voluntarily Wait, he be voluntarily like, took his own life to be frozen? No, I think, I don't know. I think I he just know. died and they preserved him fast. Like, he has to be within minutes. I'm sure they get to, like, freeze him to preserve them. I don't know, actually. But then again, they, you have to be alive to, like, be able to, like, die and be frozen so that they just defrost you, right? Yeah. I mean, huh? <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> Maybe they put you in the microwave at defrost. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, but okay, because I also, <laughs> have you guys heard of the Tupac one? What? Because supposedly Tupac, he like faked his death. No, he just like faked his death. Oh, they say uh-huh. to like it too. escape the life that he had to like have uh-huh. like a paradise life, like in an island kind of thing. Okay, uh-huh. yeah, at least from what I've heard. Okay, but the Frozen one, they tried to cover it with doing the movie Frozen because back mm-hmm. then it was like a lot of people. That was like a huge Google search, like oh, like yeah. Disney Frozen. I didn't know that. It was and now search. when you search Disney Frozen, it's Frozen oh, the, the movie. Cartoon. It's Elsa, bitch. <laughs> it's the snowman. Why didn't they call it? When the movie came out, I did think Elsa. I'm like, why is this movie called Frozen? Like, it's about a fucking like princess. most princesses are named after Moana, um, a little mermaid. Elsa and her sister could have been named that. Like, why do they call it Frozen? Because they're covering that the Hauntress. It's usually it named Olaf, after their name, but they just named it Frozen. It's usually named after their name, no? Not They're all trying of them. to cover that. No, but a good amount. Beauty Think of it, Aladdin, beast. all the Beauty and the Beast is just strictly telling you who's frozen. They could have done sister, sister. Imagine why frozen. I mean, it makes sense, right? But no, why frozen. it don't make sense to me. Why <laughs> when they unfreeze Disney, he's gonna be like, why frozen? Though? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> They're trying to cover up Disney Frozen. Mm. I heard that it's like uh, over hundred k, right? To like do that to freeze your body, to mm. like make you. Where Frozen. do they keep you? I don't fucking know. That's scary. I heard they keep you like in a Is big it like, vault. So it's in the it, it's in the they're in the middle of trying to figure that out how to revive the I body. I guess like it's a study that this continuously like done, but I think they say that you know like you're not guaranteed to come back, but like if they do find a way one day, like you can you you have a chance of how because. Once you don't have scary. oxygen in your brain, like you're done. But but they but you're freeze frozen. you. I think I I feel like it has to be done like immediately after death or like right before you're gonna die or something. I have a feeling because I, I think they freeze you like in that moment. But but you're gonna go through that pain of being frozen while you're alive. You're not alive. I think everything pauses. I don't know, girl. I don't freeze people for a living. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen Austin Powers? Uh, where they unfreeze him that's the closest thing of like oh, what yeah, I yeah. think unfreezing and freezing someone is they like literally freeze, freeze you like in a little cool um, pod they probably sleep you Mara, so that you don't freeze mm. you don't feel that it has to be something like that and then quick I would only freeze myself if I knew my whole family was going to be frozen okay that like okay Ooh, that's going to be a lot of money imagine <laughs> 100,000 100, what in Ooh. in yeah and if they charge per pound but in fairyland i would love that if it was ooh, bitch. how much fridge space you taking up girl they're like we had to make a custom pod for y'all so um <laughs> it's, it's all a it's more. a big ass bitch like damn oh, good. all little long house sticking out the pod no oh my oh, god damn. All right, so another one is a foreign species like aliens mermaids oh, Loch Ness monster. I, I believe in like i don't know if i believe in like the Loch Ness monster <gasps> Is that the who's Who is that? That's monster? like under the sea kind of thing. Oh, that's I like the. Is that oh, the, actually, wait, is that the I seven head that. one? I believe the one like the one, the one in the, the Bible. Bible. Yeah, the one. Is that well, the one in the Bible? What is a Loch Ness monster? <laughs> well, it could be different. I I I, I know the Bible one is different, but I think Loch Ness monster is just like a big old creature under the. Sea. Oh, I, I sound stupid actually because like we have only discovered like a certain percentage of the sea. There's got to be say crazy shit under like, there. Only like ten. Or something close to that 10, 12 to print. I believe percent. there's monsters down there. There yeah. has to be. Like, it, it, even at that, there's still certain things we figure out. If like, there was dinosaurs on, on Earth, there's got to be giant ass fucking animals down there. That's fucking yeah. scary. Like, no, and then oh, yeah. the deeper that we like slowly keep going and going. And like, whales we find are different huge, imagine. Fish and all that. The ocean terrifies the me. The only reason why we've experienced or um, explored 10% is because there, we can't go all the way down there. 
the There's like the be... little submarines and all that that they freaking sent down they start to like implode like start crushing from so the, the pressure. titanic sh- does she fall like in the shallow area like well, in comparison to like deep deep sea yeah <gasps> yeah there's like a whole little video if you guys want to google it and like how deep is the sea and it'll oh, start I putting like shit. oh this is the eiffel tower in the ocean it's like so tiny compared to like Whoa. Yeah. it gives me anxiety you know what's really weird i can't even see the ocean like on tiktok i'll go next i'm like i can't watch mortified the ocean, of the ocean. but yet in miami mortified. if you were there in the middle of the ocean swimming not caring yeah i don't it's know it's all about how. alcohol people <laughs> Uh, yeah it scares me. i don't know how me. but i'm mortified of the ocean mermaids yeah. do you guys believe in mermaids i don't know uh-huh. i don't believe I in videos the pretty, of mermaids i don't believe in ariel the mermaid like all beautiful with hair oh, i believe I like in like mm-hmm. some ugly ass bitch mermaid. Some, yeah, some fish looking bitches like <laughs> <laughs> with long hair yeah with like long hair looking all fucking crazy and shit like like on you know how they show them yeah so, so, like that. Y- you know what I they mean, say about like supposedly mermaids where they like um tease the pirates to like bring them into the like close to the shore and like bring in and like take their life kind of thing <gasps> so that's kind of like the mermaid you probably Have, thinking of no pilots uh, like, they they seduce them pilots like, what? Uh, but the ones that I pirates imagine? gone missing i'm know. sure there's people that have been lost let me check my sea. pirate log for sure <laughs> 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 this fisherman last week no like i feel like mermaids gotta be ugly i don't think they're cute i i can't imagine them to be <laughs> You know, like we have like our skin because we're like on land. Oh, like there's all scaly. But they gotta be scaly looking bitches. I mean, that's scary, girl. I mean, that is a little scary. <laughs> They're probably beaming, girl, with those scales. I mean, queen, honestly, queen shit. Our highlighters can never. <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of creepy. But I I believe in mermaids. I mean, there's all sorts of creatures. I believe in it's because mermaids. mermaids like we they're like little humans with tails. That's what we picture them as. Yeah. I mean, they could be complete different creatures I don't that look them like with shells on their boobs and not that shit, girl. No, yeah. I mean, no, <laughs> of course not. Um, but yeah, I picture them like I, f- I almost picture them like like gray and like bony and like like a fish. Yeah, like scary, like creepy. The house, crooked yeah. ass teeth, like <laughs> crooked ass teeth. Why Hair knotted as fuck when they come out of the ocean. <laughs> No lashes, no makeup. No. I mean, they're hairy fucking oh, combs, shit. girl. My headphones went off. They get their hair, 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 hair all knotted like when they come out of the ocean. Dude, like, that's fucking funny. It's now tell me how they go to say dudes these bright football <laughs> Football players? I mean, when I come off tell the me how they're going to seduce these pirates, pirates girl, with that. Nest the pair, but <laughs> I'll tell her, like, <laughs> not me being a hating ass bitch to these mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> they're cricket ass dudes <laughs> oh. fucking slimy ass skin like oh, like girl aren't you just, and all those big haters towards them like, you're like let me find that bike but they, they fucked the turkey <laughs> what <laughs> she said let me find out Brian fucked a mermaid but she said turkey instead like what <laughs> like what's going on that's why I'm like okay. hating ass bitch like why anyways mermaids I feel like they're real well what about mermaids. aliens Oh duh, yeah. yeah. Like, really? I how do like, how do you Im- image like an alien? How do, how do you imagine an alien? She's like crooked ass, dude. No, no. <laughs> I'm jealous, dude. I kind of actually must be <laughs> With your big old head. No, no. <laughs> Aliens are listening on us. I was gonna. I imagine them gorgeous. We love you. <laughs> imagine you're gorgeous. I'm scared. <laughs> you're so cute, queen. <laughs> oh, mortified. Cute. <laughs> She's like really I actually imagine them with straight teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Not them with veneers, girl. Hey, but I imagine. Wait, do I imagine? Aliens I don't imagine with teeth? them with teeth in general. <laughs> Archie Wendell's like that's kind of scary. Them smiling like that's creepy. I imagine them with teeth for some reason. I imagine them with like pointy teeth. Ooh, Ooh. like shark teeth. <laughs> oh shit. Well, there's you are offending every creature. Uh, what are every every Im- is something creature? Alien? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. No, because I okay, like a lot of people think aliens have like the big head, and, like, little skinny, long arms and all that. But there's also like alien like have you guys seen Alien versus Predator? It's like the big old weird like I wonder if there's like thickish shit aliens too. I don't know. I feel like humans would be the only ones to make themselves obese, like we're like, I don't know if there's any other animal like us that has Jack in the Box around the corner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless they got yeah Jack on the street. 
Ooh. Do they have drive throughs and six other sounds delicious, planets? Right and with the UFO, like pulling up to the drive thru? <laughs> <laughs> Like why? No, they probably have the food. Oh my like, god! You know how some people <laughs> drop like drinks or fries out the little window. Imagine what if they drop there? Like whew, that's falling forever. I feel like they probably just yep. have it like appear in front of them because their technology has to be better than ours, right? Definitely. Like SpongeBob, how they have that little machine like this, and it comes out. I'm dead. Is that a part of the episode or the waffle maker? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> You mean the toaster? I'm just gonna. <laughs> I don't know what. I think aliens are 100 percent real. There's so much like the universe is endless. Don't get me started on the universe being endless, bitch, because that trips me the fuck out. I'm trips like, what do you out. mean there has to be an end? There has to be an end. I have anxiety. I <laughs> feel like, like, okay, all these conspiracies are cute and all, but I feel like everything, everything kind of like leads to like aliens. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Like. Like God, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how space doesn't have an end. They also say like, mm -hmm. you know, like heaven is like like eternity. And people are like, how is that even possible? It's like, well, there's space that, you know, if it wasn't discovered, people, people would, wouldn't believe it. It's like, mm -hmm. it doesn't end. And like, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Or like little conspiracies. I'm like, okay, that might click with that. But we're yes. just curious and trying to see it like in our own way. Mm -hmm. That's not what I think. Yeah. I don't know. But... I mean, conspiracies are fun, mean. though. They're crazy. The whole alien thing, um, yeah, just, I mean, it all true. I mean, yeah, like, it yeah. kind of Do just makes you think. you guys believe Area 51, they hold, a, like, a lot of alien stuff? Mm -hmm. I, I do. You're Probably. like, I've been there. <laughs> I, I really believe it hardcore. Mm -hmm. Well, do you guys remember, like, a little while back, people were like, let's rush Area 51 to try to get in and all that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did they get in? I don't know. I never kept up with I it. I think but. nobody pulled up. I'm sure no one pulled I should pull up. <laughs> really, I'll like, talk. Huh? Like, y'all hyped that shit up, and I bet no one pulled up that shit. Right? I think they did. There was, like, a lot of people, but they didn't let them in because they would shoot them. Oh. Uh, so nobody obviously did it. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's crazy. Air 51, well, that, that, air, that area is, like, highly guarded. They're not just going to let anybody. So what's, like, what do they, what does the government say is there? Since it's so highly guarded. I think they talk about like like the military the stuff, right? Or like it has to be something like that. Happy party. Oh, what? Secret formula. Secret formula. <laughs> no, but the, it, it's highly guarded, so it's gonna be having something like government stuff. I think it has government stuff, has, right? Like yeah. they say. Yeah. But I don't know. I think there's aliens. I think there's aliens. I mean, how are we the only ones? And on, do you guys remember when there was like years ago? I'm talking like 2012. No, way before that, probably like 2008, 2008, so when there was that like alien autopsy going around on YouTube. Huh? It was like fake as fuck, but I thought oh. it was so real at the, at the time. Is there like an autopsy on an alien? So that's I'm sure if you watch it now, you would be like right? cracking up, like, why would you think this is real? Open it up on your phone, girl. And I'm, I'm going to cringe because I'm sure it looks fake as hell now. No, but. have you guys heard that like supposedly like some aliens are like celebrities? Like to keep <laughs> an eye on us or whatever? The reptiles? Stuff? Oh, the reptilians? I don't know. Who is that? Who's their reptilians? Ask Karina. Uh, supposedly, like, people, like, they have, like, reptilian, like reptile eyes and shit. I don't even know. I think that's, like, part of, like, the whole Illuminati shit, too. I mean, there's definitely a lot of conspiracies when I was little that I would believe in more. And then now I'm like, okay, that, I don't know. There's a, I believe in a lot of conspiracy theories. But if y'all have is... any conspiracy theories, let Mary Karina know because I need to know oh, more. Hmm? Sorry. Let me oh. see it. <laughs> Now I was getting copyrighted with all these fucking videos, girl. <laughs> I can't even find it anymore. They removed it. They don't want us to see it. Imagine. <laughs> it's like all fake shit. You didn't find it? I can't find it. Oh my God. What if it was real? No, I, like. I think it was fake. But I, at the time, it was like really big. Really? Yeah. I've seen like those it's because it makes it hard because a lot of people like oh also like fake it where they see like a UFO in the sky and it's like so edited and it's like a uh, girl or like they always have a conclusion to it like how that one time that one thing in the sky was like all colorful and everybody was like tripping the fuck out they're like oh my god it's it aliens SpaceX or whatever. and they're like they had a they're like it's not that it like they launch. had they always have proof to it. I'm like damn y'all gotta ruin well, it huh? What is that one like, like giant giant one is that aliens? happened in, in New Mexico? The, uh, it was a wasn't it like just a Roswell? Comment? Oh, Roswell, New Mexico. That yeah. was like a huge thing, no? What? 
That was like a huge part of like why people believe in aliens. Oh no, but I just remember the name. That's all. That like oh, yeah. that it wasn't it on Netflix that it looked like it looked like Could a be. it looked like a flying saucer and they said that it was a an air balloon or some shit. I don't know, but I feel new like New Mexico area or even just Mexico itself has a lot of like things. Like I remember mm. my parents always telling me there was like these witches that would fly from like mountain to mountain. And, mm-hmm. I don't know all these things. Yeah. Have you guys seen that witch video? Which one? Mm-hmm. Do you, you never seen that witch video in Mexico? That girl, that witch flying. No, it was everywhere, girl. Like it's it came out on the news and all. That's scary. Yeah, it's like like a witch flying on a broom. <laughs> no, for real. Fuck. Yeah, like crazy I just sorry. Shit. I just thought about hocus pocus. Period. Well, that's crazy. That's no, scary. yeah, it's, it's creepy. Or like crop circles and shit. Like I don't get it. Why is that? Like the crop circles that are like perfect. Like, like in cornfields? Why? You haven't seen you heard, You've heard of crop yeah, circles. Yeah, but why do they do them like that? I don't know. Like, I don't even know where they come from. Somebody's cutting them. Well, <laughs> well if you guys remember, there Not was supposedly like, the I think it was like two brothers or something <laughs> like that that were supposedly doing it. Like they would go out there with wow. like a wooden board and like flatten them down and all that. See, but, people be doing the most to try to have people believe. No, I, I feel I don't know those those circles and all that were too perfect to like. Yeah, let's go in the middle of the night where we can't even see and start doing this with the freaking just little wooden pellet and get it done in an hour. No way. Yeah, that was weird. Mm-mm. This it had to be aliens. This whole alien thing is it's so crazy. Yeah. So the next one is shared delusions. I don't know. Delusions oh. belief held by one person becomes shared by one or several other people associated with that one person. I saw that. I saw it was like a show, right? I don't know if it was a show or a documentary. I can't remember y'all. I must sound really dumb to y'all that actually watched it. I just remember like a memory of this watching it. I probably wasn't paying as much attention, but it was really interesting. Mm-hmm. So this family, this family, I think it was like at the middle of the night. I can't remember the timing of the day. But like, say you're with your family, like it's like a like a whole household. They got up and left in the middle of the night, like, and drove to I don't know where. I don't even think they had a destination. I'm not even sure. I must sound really stupid. But they like just got up and left, and they all like envisioned. I guess they all remember being like chased by somebody, so they were like trying to get away, and like I think they even split up at one point, and like whatever, like all this shit happened, but. Then later on, they were like, why did we do that? Like, it was like one of those things that like, they don't know why they did it. But they did it all together. But they all like got up in the middle of the night and left. What? Left their house. Mm-hmm. Remember Let that it episode up. two? The Netflix show about aliens, how there was like a kid that like he also saw like a big bright light and he was like running to his house and he like froze running in place oh, and people saw it. Yeah. It's like there's proof of it. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Wait, can you read that one more time? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the family doesn't know why they took the road trip. They just all got they up just, in the middle yeah. of the night and left their house See, that's all together, strange. willingly, all yeah. of them. No, like, but, yeah, let's go. But they all left, but left separately, like split, right? They all left, and then they were like on a like chasing a car, or they thought they were being followed by a car. One guy throws his phone out the window. He leaves to another state. One of the girls, like she steals a car, leaves somewhere else. Like, this whole fucking, like, shit show. Like, it's like if we leave, Myra throws her phone out the window, you're over, yeah. like, I gotta go, you steal a car, you fucking run to that state. Uh, one of the, everybody splits <laughs> I up. I stole a car and ran and to the then, state. And then later you find Jasmine, like, confused behind a trash can, like, what the fuck happened? Where am I at? Who I'm am I? scared. Like, what? You know, That's when, some you know shit right there. That reminds me when you sometimes wake up, like, from your sleep, and, like, it takes a few seconds to realize that you're, like, your own fucking self. Does that ever happen? Yeah. Where you wake up, you're like, huh? Like, you don't even know who you are, what you are. And you're like, well, these oh, people, shit. they like, say that it takes like a few seconds for your, like, your brain. brain or something like that, and it takes a few seconds to realize, like, okay, I'm Myra. I'm, like, here. <laughs> and, like, I have a husband. That's a good ass nap. <laughs> no, like, no, but the, these people, they're said to have be suffering from a rare shared psychotic disorder. And they all have it because it's, like, in the genetics. Oh, shit. It, and it's also referred to as, like, the madness of two, like, the madness, but they all experiencing it. Like <gasps> they all share that same psychosis. Whoa, dude, there's some crazy ass shit. But now they're like regular. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! This one, 
this one's crazy. Did you guys hear about how like the world did end? But huh. that we're like there's a lot of them. It's like that we're in a different we woke up in a different universe or like different parallel universe. But there's one Crystal was telling me about it today. Oh. Wait, wait, go off. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. So apparently like way the fuck back, I don't know like the year, but way back they used to have thirteen months in a year. It used to be 13 months. Oh, yeah. And now there's only like 12. Yeah. But there's some like rare, like it's so rare. We but should be younger than what we are. No wonder I feel younger. <laughs> Is that why people would die like at 30? No, but have you ever heard about this theory that supposedly, like, you know, right now, you know how you're saying that people die and like, I forgot. I don't know, but it just remembered, but um, made me remember something that when you die, like say right now, like I'm here, right? But I actually died when I was like, say I was when I was 20, I died like something happened. But my brain is still making me think I continued living life. So oh, it nah, like projects do this life that I have. The whole thing, like, are we real? Are we alive? Shit fucks like fucks <laughs> with me. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I'm scared. Imagine. But so the whole year thing, we have 12 months, but apparently like way the hell back. I don't even know like when, but way back in like Not the that Mayan long calendar ago. days, right? Like about or before months that? Ago? No, and yeah, Mayan calendar predicted um 2012, which okay, be, like, so hear me out. This is when they used to do the 13th month, the 13 months. Yes, so hear me out, right? Um, we're in 2022, mm-hmm. but there is some like uh areas that still do that in the in the world. It's I'm sure it's not common at all, but there's like only a very few and it's, spots in the world that still like go by based off that calendar, mm-hmm. um and. And they're about seven years behind us. So to them, the pandemic started in 2012. Whoa. So it was 2020, something like that. Yeah. So, so, you know, people are putting it together like, wait, based on the Mayan calendar, the world was going to end in 2012 uh-huh. and the pandemic hit and in 2012 for those areas that still mm-hmm. use the 13 months. Mm-hmm. So it kind of did, did change end. it. Like we would have been like, is that what younger. they were predicting COVID for the world to end as like a big pandemic happening? Maybe. <sighs> Are we here? We would be 20. We would just be had turned 21 right now. A damn shame. <laughs> Why did they change it? I don't know. It's just like... Isn't that weird that you just think like the world does just how it revolves, but that was like humans that were like, I'm going to make 12 months out of the year. Like, yeah. like It's really just like a period of time where we're like taking naps in between. Like every night we take a nap to recharge. Recharge. And we just recharge at night because it's like dark, but like we're just kind of living like there is no really no time. It's just that we're Or when you think of of like tomorrow, you're like, it's not tomorrow. It's like, it's just like yeah yeah there's no time we made up time but like mm-hmm. is there really time or like how you <sighs> picture stress, certain I'm days like, Nobody got the way you picture that. a monday tuesday or like a friday it's like it feels like a different day but it's the same day being repeated over and over and over and over and over and it's over it's really again. just day night day night day night it's just like one consecutive just like it's just how we created time so it's like yeah it's like the t- there is no time and space mm-hmm. there is no time like the fact that like Someone in space will age differently than someone on Earth. Like, what? I can't. Space fucking. It there's really no gravity. Not even that, too. Like, there's, like, this thing where, like, if you're moving as fast as I don't know what, like, you're going against time. I don't know. It's so. Like, time well, traveling. Even in cartoons, they've done that. Like, the whole. I, I think Those Flash things. has done it and Superman has done it. Where they run backwards around the world. So they're, like, slowly rewinding time. Because, like, say in the cartoon, something happens, right? Someone gets, like, shot or something. And they're like, oh, no, like, we have to go back in time. So, like, they're they're fast enough to, like, run around the world wow. to, like, rewind it. And then they save the person, blah, blah. That's crazy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Girl. There's a lot of conspiracies. <laughs> I can't keep up, girl. There's, There's a, a lot. lot of I was, like, feeling anxiety right now, too. I was like, <laughs> the thought, you know what gives me anxiety? Like, hurtling through space. No, yeah. Like, what do you I was like mean? right now, like, you know how like they say sometimes when you're about to have anxiety, they're like, you probably are not getting enough oxygen in your brain to like breathe. I think I was so in the conversation I wasn't breathing breathing and I got like lightheaded of the house. I was like, 
Bitch, let me she's find out. Abdu- she's being uh-huh, abducted, right abducted guys. She's going into a different parallel universe. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, dude. bitch, let me breathe. I'm way too into this conversation right now. And then I started panicking. I'm like, I think it's because we're talking about this fucking shit. Have you guys? Have you guys ever thought about the fact? Now I'm really into the shit. Have you guys ever thought about the fact that like we imagine like aliens and other creatures to look scary, but like because we're used to seeing each other as humans, but like if you put yourself out of a human perspective, humans are fucking scary looking. Like. What do you mean we have these long as arms just fucking flailing fingers. everywhere? Well, have you ever fingers, thought bitch. like how your dog probably sees you like looking all up up to you like we're you scary so looking. Big, like, Our we're... two eyeballs like oh yeah. like <laughs> no I'm Wait, not. Why the thing around <laughs> us has only one? <laughs> we see each other right, and we think we look like you know we're humans, yeah. but like we, we imagine aliens to be scary as shit, right? Like yeah. an alien, another extraterrestrial being would see us and be like like what if we're scary as fuck you know like like we had like two long legs two arms how are we scared of spiders but we're not scared of these bitches right here no and that's probably Don't like someone knows someone to start being now. paranoid imagine because like Oy. an alien might look at humans and like okay y'all look scary but say someone like me and they're like oh that one's an even uglier alien <laughs> what is going on I can't do it. Yo, imagine. <laughs> because they see us as aliens as we see them as aliens. That's why, like, we're probably really scary fucking looking. I mean, we already are. But, like, <laughs> I know, aliens? like, the fucking animals fucking stink and all. Like, it's like, probably, like, yeah, like, like, think about us. Like, our face. Do you ever, okay, do you guys ever look in the mirror so much you start to scare yeah. yourself? Yeah. yeah. Where you're, like, you're focusing so much, like, I'm a human. Like, oh your God, soul's, looking like, looking myself. into your It's like body. your brain starts fucking with you, like, hey, you ask me, bitch, what? Like, too many tips. Like, I'm like, <laughs> okay, leave yes, me alone. No, okay. Okay. That's why, like, too many tipsy nights when you're in the restroom, you just, like, wait, hold up. Oh, that's no, like, I could be though. sober just looking at myself, like, whoa. I'm if I focus too much on my face, like, in the mirror, I'm like, I start getting freaked out, like, oh my God, that's a human looking back at me. Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> me. It's because our conscious is like, more than us i don't know like your brain is like i feel like it's your soul looking at your body it's yeah like that's how i see it i feel like yeah. it's my brain looking at me like i'm like i'm like hey girl. oh shit and then you start getting shy with yourself i'm like oh girl <laughs> uh, like oh, sorry ma'am. <laughs> you know, <you> stare. <laughs> like if it's just yourself <laughs> yeah that, that really be happening sorry. but it's just weird like i think like you why do we are weird have the ass. world is weird and oh. why do people like want like why do people like what's the word? Why do people want the ass? Is that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, shit, not me dropping together. You a lot of reasons for that one. No, <laughs> no like, like like I was watching. A why do people like idolize it? There you go, idolize asses. Ass. I was watching a TikTok of us a guy like explaining like <laughs> why like he was explaining like human anatomy and how we shit, you know, our toxins like literal shit coming out of our asshole and. Oh my how God, it's like the nastiest part of the body yet it's like idolized and <laughs> and you know craved and, and all this bullshit and it's funny because <laughs> craved you're really, eaten girl oh, like no. we, y'all here eating ass for what like, i still don't get it like like literally disposable like it's our trash can like it's literally like disposing of our human waste in shit form disgusting and we're out here eating it like <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not out here eating ass i just want to say that but you probably are. I'm just kidding. Oh, I think Sally Bryant. I was no, like, no, like, no, like no, I he's not. I was mean, saying like one of the viewers, like maybe you're out there eating ass, you know, go off and all. But you, have you guys ever thought of that? Like we're out here eating ass for what? Like as humans. <laughs> I'm, I'm not eating ass. <laughs> hey, Definitely no, not. not. Uh-uh. Karina's no. all waiting for someone to be like me too. She's like, okay, me too. Then. <laughs> no, I swear. <laughs> I swear to you. Absolutely not. I'm not out here I eating know, ass. Bro. I just feel like even like the thought of someone eating your ass is like, you're literally like... You sure you want to lick that? There, sh- there was shit coming out of there. That's fucking like, disgusting. I'm sorry. That's fucking gross. Yeah. I mean. But uh, it's funny that they're idolized because I'm sure to another creature, they're like, idolized. what is that? Like this bulk that comes out of their back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine aliens to have like no butt. Yeah, same. Yeah. But where do they poop alien. from? What if they're thick as shit? <laughs> A thick ass fucking <laughs> alien? Fair. Hips, thighs, and all. Period. <laughs> I don't know. The human body is weird. It's just like when you start thinking about everything. Everything is built for like their environment, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. I think our butt is for cushion when we sit down. No, oh, yeah, right. Like our even spine. our lashes. Like we wear fake lashes, but our lashes are to protect our eyeballs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everything has a purpose. Our eyebrows protect our eyes too, right? So it's not even like like that's mm-hmm. so weird. 
I can't keep so, them out to keep up, girl. My brain's... Well, yeah, brain I think it. that was a great um, episode. <laughs> that was fun. I really like talking about stuff like this. Like, that flew by. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long I feel that like was, you gotta though. be high as shit for stuff like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and from what I saw... Um, <laughs> Should have brought us an edible, Brian. I'm, I'm just well, I'm high, yeah. so I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Brian's actually high. <laughs> oh, per. I actually don't smoke. Um, it's funny because people actually say... In the episodes, they're like, Myra's always high. And I'm like, yo, I never actually smoke. No, not at all, actually, no. I actually, with my anxiety, I wouldn't, I, I can't. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Which is so funny because I'm not a smoker. Like, I'm sober the house. Oh, it's yeah. probably just, I think it's just my eyes are always, like, lazy. I, people think I'm, like, high all the time. I know, that's funny. Like, she's not. Like, I'm, I don't smoke. smoke. I'm not kidding. Like, anyways. Well, ladies, that was great. That was, was fun. <laughs> Brian, any last words? I'm just kidding. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed me coming on here. If y'all want more of me and Ro, let us know. Let, let us know. We kind of want to have them like guests, like actual guests, like on the camera and everything. So that would be fun. But that it was fun. fun. I really liked this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until the next one, y'all. We'll make sure to you. rate, review, and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to comment down below your favorite conspiracy theories. Thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all next time. Guys later.